So this is our first weekly video update of the year 2018. Um, I suppose most people will be um, imagining that the reason we haven't been doing any video updates so far is due to the crazy self-assessment season in January. Well that's only partially true in our case. We only had a handful of tax returns to complete that month. Um, but unfortunately I had to take some time away from the business for the first two weeks of January due to my father's health which deteriorated um, quite rapidly over Christmas time. Um, and he, he's been he's he's been suffering quite a bit um, with various things. He's in recovery and getting treatment now, so hopefully he's going to be on the mend um, on the mend soon. Um, the second couple of weeks in January, we spent time then just uh, delivering the client services that needed to be delivered, including tax returns amongst other pieces of work. Um, but we also spent time setting our own business goals um, and our objectives for the year, which we um, really put top of the list um, as all businesses should. To make sure you're setting your own goals and targets um, on a regular basis and reviewing them. So we do have our objectives in place, we have a strategy to achieve those objectives and we also have uh, weekly meetings now to keep progress as small as it needs to be. Um, any small progress on a weekly basis towards all of our goals um, is going to help sure, make, make sure we, we hit our objectives. And that's something we'd like to start working with clients with a bit more uh, during the course of this year. The other thing I wanted to share with you was basically three short stories um, over the course of the last few weeks. Three um, successes we've had with clients um, in delivering services. The first was for a client who was historically looking after their own uh, VAT returns. We'd set them up on a cloud accounting system, they weren't making full use of it and quite often they left their VAT returns to the last minute. Sent us the stuff on spreadsheets, missed out on a pile of information. Um, so they weren't making full um, use of the, the fact they can reclaim. We took over the, the, the final quarter of last year and we have immediately saved the client in that one quarter somewhere between £500 and £1,000 in VAT just because of the skill, expertise and methodologies we bring to preparing VAT returns. So the client's delighted and is happy now to hand over all the bookkeeping to us um, on a regular basis and we're going to deliver our new cloud all-in bookkeeping package for that client. Second story is a guy we have set up on zero. He's had zero for a number of years. Um, never got time to fully implement it, so we've been working with him to get uh, the system right for his business. Um, and this guy would bill out his customers once a month um, using sort of Word templates and so on. And it's generally taking him sort of half a day to a day to get all his bills done and he does it on a specific day every month. And because of the way we've now set up his cloud accounting system, he was able to bill out £70,000 worth of work within about an hour maximum. Um, so that's another brilliant one um, for the client um, who's absolutely delighted with the way the system's working. And the final story is another guy who prepares his own VAT returns, again, leaves it very much to the last minute. Um, and I had a conversation with the client to see if it would be of interest in terms of the amount of time we could save him um, in us taking over the cloud bookkeeping um, and, and delivering our new package. And I asked the client, can you just give us an idea how long you're spending doing your VAT return every quarter? It takes him, he said, about three days to list out his invoices and receipts for all purchases and expenses because he, he doesn't have any system for filing them, for keeping them, they're on emails, they're in drawers, they're everywhere. So we're now proposing to actually save him three days of time what will that do for his business? Well, this is somebody delivering training courses at an average of £500 a day. So he's going to save on average £1,500 a quarter, which is six grand a year of time he's going to save alone on that. And not only um, will he save the time, he'll make more money because we'll claim more of that form. There's no doubt he's missing stuff. And we'll give him complete peace of mind in relation to all of that as well. So if this kind of stuff is, is something you're interested in, if you'd like to spend more time working on your business and not in it, if you'd like to get rid of some of the drudge of the bookkeeping, which really doesn't excite you, then we have the total solution for you. Uh, and we'd be more than happy to set up uh, a meeting, um, either in person or online, discuss your needs and really take things forward to make your business move to the next level.